G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and in this video I'm going to show you a Chrome extension I've been working on called Salesforce Marketing Cloud Companion which can make navigating and discovering in Marketing Cloud just a little bit easier. So to start with I can open up the Chrome extension by clicking on the icon. I've logged into Marketing Cloud as you can see in my background and I can now refresh the tokens to give SFMC Companion access to my instance. If I press refresh it'll show all green that all my tokens have been refreshed. I can now go ahead and update the data inside of the Chrome extension to load in all the objects for my folders, data extensions and so on so that I can access and navigate them in the Chrome extension. And now that all of my objects are downloaded I can navigate to Automation Studio and show the first cool feature of this extension. I can jump into an automation and once the automation is loaded I can open up my Chrome extension and choose the object browser. By doing this it's going to open up the automation inside of the SFMC companion and show me all the activities and information about this automation. You can see that for each activity in each step it shows me the object, its icon, as well as a quick jump to activity. I can click on this button to open up that activity back in Marketing Cloud. So if I've lost that action I can quickly find it again by pressing on that blue icon. Jumping back into the navigator I can then again see all my different objects. I can jump into for example a SQL activity. If I left click on this it'll open up the activity in my object browser. I can see the target of this SQL query as well as some information about it, the query text as well as all of the DEs that are referenced inside of this query. As you can see each of the DEs are there and I can then jump into each of those data extensions myself clicking on sample rows for example. There's six fields, 13 rows. I can go back a page, I can have a look at my results DE. It's got two fields and nine rows. You can keep going through and seeing this um, data extension is the target of a number of queries. So this results DE has been targeted by a number of different SQL activities. I can jump into the activity and have a look for myself and there it is the target DE. The other super useful feature on this extension is I can actually go into my data extension and click on the fields and I can easily copy and paste this for documentation. But if I wanted to I could also click on the dbdiagram.io tab and copy this SQL reference code to create my own relational data structure inside of dbdiagram.io. Jumping back into the automation I can keep looking through and find things like my tracking extract which shows me all the fields that are being outputted by that tracking extract as well as where it's used. It's used in a tracking move, a file transfer. I can see that activity has also been used in a few automations as well as the extract itself being backwards referenced. I can jump back in and try the tracking extract automation. You can see here there's those two steps. I can move back into the extract and forwards into the next automation. One more useful feature of this extension is to locate those missing data extensions that have been referenced in your activities. So for example here's my really big query. I've got a few data extensions that I'm referencing. As you can see I've got some birthday data, some sample rows and so on. Now I can click on that blue link to launch that location inside of Marketing Cloud. You can see here it's now loading into Contact Builder into that data extension. And there it is, training birthday sample data. But once I go back into my extension what I can do is I can also search for that myself. So I wasn't too sure where it was and click on my extension and click on search. Now if I know it's the birthday campaign I can type in birthday and press search and it's going to show me all of the activities that are related to birthday. You can see here there's a data extension, a couple of queries as well as the folder of birthday journey as well. And that is a quick introduction to the SFMC companion Chrome extension that I'm working on. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll keep adding more features and functionality so stay tuned as I release more updates.